The Dungeons update opened a new door for endless possibilities inside of Hypixel Skyblock, especially for the more progressed players in the game. Although, if you're just starting out or you haven't got a lot of gear, most of the floors will be very difficult. So, to help some of you newer or undergeared players, I've decided to gather some of the easier to get dungeon sets for every class to give you guys a better understanding on what to get before you upgrade to the more expensive gear. But, before we get started, I'd like to quickly say that if you have any further questions or comments about this video, be sure to stop by over on my Twitch streams, I stream every Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the links are down in the description below. We have a lot of open discussions over there, so I highly recommend checking it out. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so here we are in the Hypixel Hub. Now, in my inventory, I have this backpack, as you can see, with a ton of items. So if I just open that up, you can see that these are all the armor sets that we'll be covering in today's video with some pets, and I'll show some weapons as well later on in there. But before we get started here, I just want to mention that these are only beginner sets or sets that I feel like are ones that people can choose to sort of play with before they really get into dungeons, before they sort of like start upgrading and spending a lot of money on good gear, and things that you can use to sort of dip your toes in the water, if that makes any sense, to get a taste of what dungeons is like like and that are relatively easy to get relatively cheap to get and also don't have like a high catacombs level or anything like that so to start things off let's just start with berserker very easy class and the first thing that i want to cover with that is going to be full strong with a wither skeleton pet so now you may be thinking this isn't that cheap or cheaper you might be thinking that a lot of these things are going to be cheaper well in reality this is just one of the sets that you could be using inside of dungeons to start things off maybe floor one and also the entrance levels the reason why i say full strong is a good choice and then a wither skeleton pet is because because most people already will have full strong so let me just put this on really quickly I'll take off my superior put on the full strong and the reason why I say this is because most people already have full strong or they have three quarters strong with a tarantula helmet and that's fine that works really well so most people will already have this set which is the reason why I bring it up and then as for with a skeleton pet this pet is just really really powerful with its last ability on the legendary rarity as you can see it says death's touch upon hitting an enemy inflicts the wither effect for 2% damage over three seconds now you may be thinking 2% is hardly anything like that's no damage at all but when you level this pet up it does a lot more damage than what you'd expect and it can really stack up over time and deal a crazy amount of damage also for the weapons i would recommend using an aspect of the dragons it doesn't have to have these enchantments that i have on mine nor the music rune or anything like that but really any weapon you can get your hands on even if you're using a raider's axe still or an aspect of the end you could probably get away with that for a couple of floors depending on how good your team is but most people will have an aspect of the dragons if we just do a quick damage test 11,000, i did not do a crit there 41,000, pretty solid Solid, not too bad. I don't have my talismans optimized or anything like that. So it could be higher, it could be worse. But now that we've covered full strong, I also want to mention that if you don't have enough money for full strong, there is a more budget set you can go for. You could probably go for zombie soldier or I think heavy armor. Heavy armor is more of a tank set, which I will get into later on in the video. But it is a possibility. It's a lot, lot cheaper than strong is. But like I said, most people will already have strong. So I feel like that's a good set to start out with if you are starting to play dungeons now. Now before we move on to the next class, which I'm going to be covering, I do want to also say that this is a little bit more situational depending on what kind of place you are in the game But you can actually use superior for playing berserker and actually you could pretty much play superior for any class if you have the set Although this is definitely not one that I would recommend using because it is really really expensive And if some of you guys don't have the money or you don't have the set already definitely don't go out buying it It's not worth it. It's definitely not worth your time I started out with superior because I already had it prior to the dungeons update So my situation was a little bit different but with that out of the way How about we cover the set for tank now? So if I just grab out the head heavy armor here and also the mastiff armor i just want to cover a couple of things inside of the game with the tank set so for tank there are a couple things that you could be doing here so the first option that i would say is heavy armor because heavy armor is incredibly cheap it's super easy to get your hands on you won't be spending anywhere near 100k you could probably get away with like 40 50k for the entire set if you just go for the rare variant and it works really really well inside of dungeons as you can see the stats on my chest plate for example when inside of dungeons i get an extra 137 hp and 282 defense. Now, if I compare that to my superior chest plate, I only get 225 defense. So, I'm getting a lot more defense with a much, much cheaper set inside of dungeons because this is a dungeon set. It's going to be much better inside of it, of course. And being super, super cheap, I highly recommend you go for this. If you want to use a good pet for it, you could probably go with a turtle pet. If you don't have a turtle pet, you could try to get a legendary whale, although those are much more expensive. I don't even have one myself. But really, any pet will work when you're starting out, although I would say that the turtle pet is a more suitable pet 
for playing tank. Now the next set that I want to cover is actually going to be Mastiff armor. So this is similar to the superior situation that I covered with the Berserker build, and it's that Mastiff really isn't a tank set, or I mean it is a tank set because it gives you a crap load of HP, but you realistically you only want to be using it if you already have the set. So if you're somewhat progressing the game already and you do Sven's and you're already Wolf level 4, you can probably get away with just wearing full Mastiff armor because as you can see, if I put it all on, I hold out this Pooch Sword, I get like 15,000 health and I haven't even got my talismans optimized. So if you actually open your accessory back here and you've got a lot of talismans like I do and you reforge them all to give you, I think it's crit damage, then you can get a lot more HP. I'm pretty sure when my talismans are perfectly optimized, I get about 32,000 health. And then when you're inside of dungeons with all the blessings and stuff, you get even more HP than you would just outside of dungeons. And it can actually be really, really good if you already have the set. But like I said, if you don't have the set and you don't have the money for it, then it's really not worth going for. Just stick with this heavy armor because it's so much cheaper. It's much better. You can get rid of it later on. You can upgrade it. You can do so much more with it. So realistically, heavy armor is the way to go for tank. And also, if you're going to be using pets, then you probably don't want to be using turtle pet with mastiff as mastiff actually gets rid of your defense while turtle gives you defense. So you don't want to be doing that. Now, the next set that I'm going to be covering in this video is going to be the skeleton grunt set. So you may be asking, well, what's skeleton grunt useful for and why would I use this? Well, this is actually a really good set for archer. As you can see, the piece bonus is an increased damage to my arrows by 5% and every single piece does the same thing. So in total, you'll be getting about 20% extra damage to your arrows on top of the crazy amount of crit damage that you get from it as well. If you just check this chest plate here, you can see that I have a plus 41% crit damage and if I compare that to my superior chest plate, I don't even get anywhere near that. So once again, and that's also outside of dungeons, if you see what it is inside of dungeons, you get about 60% crit damage with the fierce reforge. Also, this is a legendary chest plate. So realistically, it's actually really good for crit damage and really good for the archer class. However, the health and the defense is a little bit weaker, but as an archer, you shouldn't be worrying too much about health and defense as you should be staying back at a distance anyways. Now for pets, I want to be covering the skeleton pet. So skeleton pet is pretty obvious here. It's the best one that you can go for for archer because it buffs your arrows a crazy amount. You can see 8.4%, which is actually tripled in dungeons, which is really, really powerful. It also gives you extra crit chance and extra crit damage, which just stacks up even more when using a bow. Then you've got combo here, which gives you like a combo stack, just gives you more strength depending on how many enemies you hit with the bow that is. And then the skeletal defense is a pretty handy one. It's actually saved me quite a few times and also just made my life a little bit easier when playing dungeons. But it's the fact that the pet itself will actually shoot out an arrow and it does a lot of damage, around like 200k damage, at least from my experience when playing on like floor one and floor two. So then for weapons here for the Archer class, I would highly recommend you pick up a Magma Bow. Magma Bow is super cheap right now. It's really easy to get. You can get your hands on one for probably around a mil if you decide to put hot potato books on it. If you don't, you can get one for even cheaper than that. The bow itself isn't even 200k, so it's really, really easy to get your hands on. I wouldn't recommend you get something like a Runan's Bow because if you just have a look here, the Runan's Bow is good and all. It has more damage than the Magma Bow, although the three-shot ability where it does 40% extra damage per with the second arrow isn't actually that useful because Dungeons doesn't have any aiming so you don't really want that while the bonus with the magma bow gives you two times damage when you shoot with magma cream so if you fill up your quiver like I have with magma cream you can see that you can get a lot more damage when you do shoot the magma bow as the magma cream is what makes it deal double the damage than it would normally which actually is somewhat comparable to the mosquito bow it is a little bit under the damage of the mosquito however as the mosquito bow does also have a damage perk that uses mana instead of magma cream now the next class that I'll be covering is mage here this one's pretty straightforward and also pretty obvious but you just want to get yourself a full set of very wise dragon armor so this has just been reforged to wise for the extra intelligence as most people will not have necromancer brooches yet or not be able to apply them and they'll be very expensive so i just say getting the wise reforged on your wise dragon armor is probably a safe bet as you get a lot of mana out of this it's a really great set to start off with and also a really great set to continue through with all the way until you get like around adaptive or if you can find yourself a different armor set that gives you intelligence but most of the time you want to be using wise dragon it isn't too expensive but it isn't too cheap either it's sort of like a mid range in between there so I would highly recommend that and then as for pets you definitely want to get yourself a sheep pet an epic one will do just fine as it does reduce the mana cost of your abilities and you also get like a shield for the no damage taking kind of thing it's it's all right it's not too good though but the legendary one is much better as it does give you a buff inside of dungeons however the epic will do just fine for these situations and then finally for the weapon I would definitely recommend you get yourself a dreadlord sword 
The thing with the Dreadlord Sword is that it's actually really, really useful right now because of the ability. They recently buffed that, so the mana cost is only 40 mana now. If you throw Ultimate Wise on there, if you do some other things and you get a better Dreadlord Sword, you could be shooting even faster than that. And the damage is really, really good for a Mage class, almost comparable to the Bonzo Staff, which is definitely a more expensive weapon, as you can see this one here that I have with Ultimate Wise 5, and I've also 5-starred. So that's another really good thing to keep in mind. Definitely want to go with a Dreadlord Sword, go with a Sheep Pet for Mage, and the Very Wise Dragon Armor. And then for the last class here, you can see that we're wearing the Holy Dragon Armor set, and that's going to be for Healer. So Healer actually has a lot of flexibility when it comes to dungeons, and it's actually a lot of great cheap sets that you can get your hands on that will be really, really good to start out with, and also to sort of continue through with it when playing dungeons in general. And that's going to be the Holy Dragon set to start things off. So this armor set is actually really, really good at its price. It's only around 1.5 million coins. You can probably get it for cheaper now. If you get your hands on the set, you get some enchantments on it. If you want to, hot potato it, do what you like. You're going to have quite a bit of health to work with and the natural regen buff that you get with the full set bonus is really helpful to you and your teammates and can be really really great inside of dungeons although if you don't want to go with holy and you want to run a different armor set you can always get your hands on some three quarters wise with a mender helmet the mender helmet will double your healing inside of dungeons to you and other people and overall is a really really great item you can also run this with i think it's heavy armor or it might be zombie soldier which is even cheaper than wise armor if you can't get your hands on that but any of the three quarter sets with the mender helmet can also be a very great choice as it's not too pricey but still a very good option when inside of dungeons. Now as for pets you're definitely going to want to get your hands on a jellyfish pet ideally. Now this is a little bit more expensive it can be around four to five million coins depending on how lucky you get either in dark auctions or in auction houses but if you do invest in one of these it'll carry you through all the way up until when you're a higher tier playing a healer because this pet is just so so good. Even the epic variant that you can see that I've got here is really powerful but the legendary one only makes it even stronger than that so I highly recommend you get your hands on a jellyfish fish pet and then for weapons you just want to use any old weapon realistically you could use an aspect of the dragons you could even use a bow if you wanted to you could even run a bonzo staff or a dreadlord sword because you do want to focus on mana when playing healer but what i would say that you definitely need is an ornate zombie sword which i don't actually have on me right now but the ornate zombie sword does heal your teammates and yourself for a lot of health and uses mana so you definitely want to get your hands on one of those as well as just any other weapon that you would do for damage now before I end off this video, I do want to say a couple of things regarding all the armor sets and some things that you can be doing inside of dungeons, especially as a beginner and things to keep in mind. And the first thing is that these sets are not like definitive, they're not things that you definitely need to go for, they're just sort of ideas to get you started. Things that I feel like are on the cheaper side when it comes to things or armor sets that people may already have lying around that they can use. And also the set that I'm wearing right now which is actually 3 quarters heavy with a bonzo mask. Now the bonzo mask is actually a really cheap item, I feel like they go for around 200 to 300k on the auction houses and it's such a great item because it just gives you a second life when playing dungeons. Now, bear in mind, you do need to complete floor one to be able to use this item, but once you do that, it's going to be really, really useful. And you can pretty much pair it with any armor set in the game, I feel, and you can use it on any class as well, and it just provides so much value to anything you want to play. So if you do want to opt out for a Bonzo Mask armor set, definitely go for it. I feel like it's a very good option. Definitely go for it. It's a very good option. It's actually something that my cop uses consistently when he plays tank, so it's definitely not a bad idea, and something that I just wanted to point out for this video as well. And with that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did find this informative or useful in some way, be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel as I do make these Hypixel Skyblock videos every Wednesdays and Fridays. And also, if you do have any further questions, comments, suggestions, or you want to talk to me directly, whether it be through the comment section or whatnot, feel free to visit me live when I'm streaming on Twitch. I stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and that's a really great place to be if you do have any questions about these kind of videos. But with all of that out of the way, that's going to be it for me today, guys. And as always, take care and peace. Budget version. <gasps> no way! No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. <laughs> no way, no way. I have 23 mil. Give me this, give me this, give me this, give me this. I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. Come on, dude. If they go high, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Please, 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 please. Four seconds. <laughs> Please, 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 20 mil. 20 mil parapet. Yes, dude! Finally, bro, finally!